Hi, I'm James Qual, the policy director on the Obama campaign. I want to talk to you today about the misleading claims that Governor Romney is making about the national debt and how President Obama will tackle it. So let's start at the beginning. When President Clinton left office in 2001, we were on track to pay off the national debt by now. Instead, public debt is $11 trillion. How do we get into this mess? First, the Bush tax cuts, which have cost us $3 trillion so far. Second, the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq, the Medicare prescription drug program, and other spending begun by President Bush. Third, the slower economy starting a decade ago and leading into the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. And finally, President Obama took action to stop the economic free fall he inherited. He did things like cutting taxes for the middle class and stopping teacher layoffs. All of the president's actions have contributed only 12% of the national debt we now have, and businesses have added 5.1 million jobs over the last 30 months. So that's where the debt came from. President Obama takes responsibility for his choices, but he believes they were necessary to strengthen the economy. And Governor Romney's attempt to pin the blame on the president for the entire national debt that's just a bunch of baloney. So, now our economy is moving forward again. Where do we go from here? President Obama has laid out a plan to cut the deficit by more than $4 trillion. It's a balanced plan that's based on the principle of shared sacrifice. First, it brings annual domestic spending to its lowest level in 50 years as a share of the economy. In Medicare and Medicaid, it reduces needless payments for healthcare providers and prescription drug companies while protecting seniors' guaranteed benefits. And the president will ask everyone to pay their fair share by ending the Bush tax cuts for the wealthy and closing corporate tax loopholes. The president's plan would reduce the deficit while protecting key investments in the middle class like education, clean energy, and manufacturing. You don't have to take my word for it. The nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office says the president's plan will reduce the deficit by $4 trillion and ensure that the economy is once again growing faster than the national debt. Now, Governor Romney is out there saying he's going to balance the budget, but there's a grand canyon between his empty promises and his actual proposals. First, he would spend $5 trillion on his tax plan over and above the cost of the Bush tax cuts. Second, he'd add $2 trillion more in defense spending than military leaders are even requesting. That means he needs to find $7 trillion, either tax increases or spending cuts, before he even gets started on the deficit. And guess what? He hasn't told us where that money's going to come from. That's why nonpartisan experts say he'd run up the national debt as high as 96% of the economy, a level that we just can't afford. So that's the choice that we have this fall, a responsible plan to tackle the deficit and invest in the future, and a budget plan that badly needs some remedial math. So help us get the facts out. Tweet this, Facebook it, put it up on Reddit, whatever you need to do. And thanks for listening.